So a couple of months back, I showed you guys how to use this app to uh, compress videos using your phone. And the thing about this app is, it's a good app, but um, for some people it's very difficult to understand. So, so even though this app is not a bad app, it does compress and all that stuff, I'm going to be recommending another app today. And with that said, let the video begin. So the app I'm going to be recommending today for you guys to compress your videos with is called um, Video Panda Compress and Share. Um, it's a free app. And you don't need an internet connection to use it so I'm gonna put a link in the description that will take you to the Play Store when you get there just tap the install button and then wait for it to finish downloading then open it I'm um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit muffled today I'm having allergies and um, my nose is very stuffed anyways so once you're done downloading the app just open it and then um, yeah let's work together you can read all of these if you want but I'm just going to tap skip because I've seen it before and this is the first thing you're going to see on um, tap allow and then all your videos are going to be displayed now i'm going to blur out some of them for privacy reasons i hope you guys understand and um what i'm going to do is just scroll through and get the video that i want to compress right so this is the video right here you can see it says um 39 megabytes it's a 4k video and then um, to preview your videos just tap and hold for a while and the app will just automatically play the video as you can see my phone is lagging a bit because it's a 4k video and uh, my phone doesn't have a really good processor but well it works so yeah the video is going to play in a loop so even if it ends it's going to start over from the beginning again as you're seeing right here so i'm going to show about the video you want to compress just tap the back button oh, i had to do that twice anyways tap it and then tap the video don't long press just tap it and now you can see the um, purple borders around it then tap next now you have a list of options here from the small file to the medium file large file etc i'm going to recommend you stick to the large file i know it sounds ironic like you want to get the smallest file possible but i'm going to explain later on in the video why you should always stick to this large file so just tap this select it and then tap compress now you, the video is going to take some time to compress depending on how powerful your phone is or how large the video is so just give it a while and when it's done you will see the difference in size all right so i'll see you guys when the video is done compressing all right so the video is done compressing and um, i think it has been compressed by 17 megabytes my math is not that great but uh, that's what i can think of right now so when it's done compressing just come down here and tap save if you want to email it to someone just tap share but i'll suggest you tap save first tap save the video is going to get saved on your phone's um, internal storage you look for a folder called movies and inside the movies folder you find another folder called video panda then from there you're going to find the video you just uh, compressed so just tap ok if you want to change the folder you can tap change folder but i think it should be ok here just tap ok and the video is going to get saved there uh yes no thanks all right so that's how you save the video if you want to find it on your phone all right so to find the video you just compressed or any of the videos you have compressed just open up your file manager i use file commander if you guys want i can put it in the description so you guys can download it so just tap internal storage all right so search for the movies folder tap it and then tap video panda you may see other folders but uh, shouldn't be worried about them and then this is the video we just compressed before I started compressing, I told you guys to always select the large file compress. And then to explain the reason why I'm going to have to, I don't know, give you an example. So let's say you had a TV and this TV was um, created to be compatible with 4K videos. Now 4K videos are large and the TV won't have to do any kind of um, compromises to make sure you see everything in detail. But um, let's say you decided to use this small file. You can see it's here it says um, 720. So that means it's going to be a 720p video. If you play a 720 video on a 4K screen, it's going to appear like this. TVs are not supposed to show you all these black bars you can see. So what the TV will do is it will just continue to zoom into the video to fit the whole screen. And when it does that, you're going to end up with a blurry video. So unless you are not going to play or watching these videos on full big screens, then I'll suggest using this small file or this medium file options. But as long as you're going to be playing the videos on a big screen, like your 
desktops or your laptops and i'll suggest you use the large file but please do not go below 720 as you can see down here there are lots of resolutions you can choose from from the 450 360 270 if you go if you choose any of these you are definitely going to end up with a smaller video in terms of size but um, it's going to be very blurry when you view it on the full screen all right so I've been, i hope i've been able to address these concerns if you have any more questions just let me know all right so what i'm going to do now is um i'll be compressing this video in 720 and 1080p i've already compressed it in the 4k it was originally and um, i'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can check out the videos how different they look or how similar they look oh yeah that's all so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do if you have any questions like i said just leave them in the comments and i'll respond to you as fast as i can all right so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video bye bye